how do you like that hairdo? Out here, uh, 2500 2020 Stabycraft Ultra Cab. Gonna put about 65 gallons in. He's got a T99 remote up front with the tie bar. 11 by 7 pitch prop. Got uh, Lenco trim tabs with a switch up front. Got the active three in one transducer down, down view, side view, traditional. He's got a set of twin 200s. These are nice. We could run these with 150s on them, but uh, 200s got that variable camshaft timing on it. So about 2200s when you get your uh, horsepower instead of like 38, 4000. So these, uh, this should be a good 50 mile an hour boat. It's got 17 pitch. You got a left hand cup like this. That's the left hand rotation. When it goes to the right, that's a right hand rotation. So you got a right and a left. <clears throat> Total salt water protected. All the Yamahas, uh, internal zincs, uh, each cylinder on the block. You got uh, stainless prop shaft, drive shaft, external zincs everywhere on this. Uh, Kickstands you got here, uh, I wouldn't use those. Uh, actually, I'd use a wedge that goes into the left hand side. Uh, you don't want to do it on the right hand side because they got a wire right here, grounding wire. And if you do put that over there and let it down, you could bust the zert. Plus, you could bust the wire. Okay, there's all your drain plugs. You got one, two, three, four, five of those. These two outer ones are the bailing are on your deck to bail out instead of having the uh, bilge pumps kick in. Center one's your main hole drain that goes all through the middle. Then you got your chambers one and two. You got a dive bladder, uh, hydraulic steering. It's got uh, Simrad autopilot with the gauge, which I like. Electric crab davit. Uh, they need to touch up the paint right here. I see. That's your vent for your fuel. Got to get all that tape off. Got the rear deck light. That's your discharge for that back aft fish box. You got plenty of cleats. You got the Maxwell winch spool, which is nice. You can hold a lot more. It's got rope and chain already, rope and rod. Uh, you got strakes. You got your G3 tubing. One, two, three. And what that happens is traps that air when you're coming off of a wave or back, back part of a swell. Coming down, it traps the air and slows the boat down. Strakes helps it uh, lift faster and keep it straighter. Reverse keeps it more stable. You got the, they added the dual trumpet horn. It looks like you got the Simrad radar. You got the two and five sixteenths top mount coupler, flat flip, which I like, safety pin on it. Flat uh, five on the trailer wires, that's my adapter. If you find yourself short on some of those things, get that extender like I got. Safety chain, you need two shackles for that. Those should be crossed. I don't, I'm just going over the bay. That if it falls, it goes in and acts as a cradle. Got the foot jack, two speed heavy duty jack. Spare tire carrier, a keel roller, again, same story. Boat is not meant to run on that. That's just a guide, so if you run up, you don't hit the keel on the cross member. You got four by four bunks with slicks. <clears throat> Load guides, the right distance away. You want those about a finger away. You don't want them any more than that, or they don't do you really too much good. You got uh, Carlisle tires, radial, six lugs. Uh, I'd run maybe 80 to 100 pound torque on those. Uh, gear bath oil hubs. Brown good, white bad, torsion axles, brakes or discs on all four. <clears throat> and then you've got, these are ST225, 75 R16. So these are pretty beefed up actually. Cause you got the six lug and the 16s. <clears throat> See how much gas we got in there. We got 47, 48 gallons. Cause I got to put this in because I got to run it. And I don't know how long I'll be out there. And then you got your good antenna up on top. I'll check that out when I get get in the boat. And then I'll go through the boat when I get in it, when I'm gonna, out in the water anyway. Got the kicker bracket. And that looks at, like it had the longer width, so that's nice. And it looks like they jacked up that, that smart too on that kicker. They put that uh, raise in that to get it up out of the water. Because technically these could take like a, damn near a short shaft motor. Because I think this one right here is a long shaft. Yeah, you don't have very much distance. So that helps raise it. So when you're going down the water, you don't drag it. You got one ram, it's taking fuel good. And it looks like a Sea Star bulkhead door. And like I say, I'll go through the rest. I'm gonna put some diesel in that tank. I added water to the fresh water tank that's up on top, gas is here, diesel's over there. They also need a silicone this back one down when they get done, the starboard back cup holder. And a Bow Doctor 2500 Old Cab, Brad, beautiful boat, matches the truck, look at that. Oh, Dr. Al.